Hi, welcome to NAM 2014, the last day of NAM, Sunday morning. My name is Kenny Moran and I am the Director of Virtual Instruments for VIP Loops. And thank you for coming down to Big Fish Audio to see some of our new instruments. I'm going to show you our new instrument from VIP that is called Fuse. And I'm going to close it like this so we just get a better view of, view of it. Fuse is our dual engine synth. And dual engine synth means that there are two synths in one, one to the left side, one to the right side, and the large knob in the middle that's purple and now blue, and I'm rotating that and turning it red, can fuse the sounds from left to right, from tone one to tone two, anywhere in between to just get a quick blend for you. Um, all, of our, all of our instruments, um, we have a, a simple design philosophy behind them. Our, all of our instruments are supposed to sound great, be easy to use, and be extremely efficient. So I'm going to talk about the, the, the sound for a second. All of the sounds are designed specifically for Fuse, so we didn't borrow samples from another instrument or take them from a motif or something and try and reconstruct them into this. They were all sampled from the ground up, like our grand pianos were sampled from my personal grand piano in my studio. Same with the Rhodes, the electric pianos. The strings are recorded from, our, from recording sessions with cellists, violins, and violas. And then all of the synth sounds are actually developed by me from the sound up from sine waves, saw waves, triangles. So all of the sounds are designed discreetly for Fuse. We did the same with our first virtual instrument last year called Swag, and this year we actually have five new virtual instruments coming out. Fuse is the first one. So to give you an idea of that kind of sound quality, there was um, we spent a lot of time on each individual sound to make sure it worked for Fuse. Now, another one of our ideas is that when you're using our instruments, we want you, what we want you to be able to do is take that instrument, call it up, and immediately use it. Now, whether that be on the record, and that's where my background is from, making records, or being on tour or on stage, we want you to grab a sound that'll just work for you right off the bat. So, if I'm going to show you this piano, and I'm going to bring some strings in behind it, Immediately usable sounds, that means they're pre-EQ'd, pre-compressed, the right amount of reverbs. Of course you can change all these values, but if you're a person that just wants to grab a sound and start, that's what our instruments are designed to do. Um, Fuse is a workstation, meaning that if you're used to having owning a Motif or a Kronos or an Oasis or something like that, it's a broad palette instrument. That means there are some great orchestral sounds, there are great synth sounds, there are great sounds for doing hip hop and EDM right down to doing sound design for soundtrack. Um, I'll give you a quick background on me. I'm an engineer first and foremost. Um, I've recorded a lot of great big records. I've mixed a lot of records, many of which you all know, ranging anywhere from um, literally from Earth, Wind & Fire and Anita Baker all the way up to the Great Gatsby soundtrack on the big EDM song. I mean, um, my, my palette's really broad and I get to work with a lot of different producers and writers, so that's what I bring to the table when I'm working on these sounds with VIP, is that I literally am in the studio when these records are being made, so I have a first-hand idea of what they want. So, and then from an engineering standpoint, I also have a great idea of, wow, here's what I got to do to fix this sound again. So our idea is to give you sounds that just plain work. So you don't need to be an engineer or have a degree in EQ and compression to make a sound work. Now, there's great flexibility on our instruments. If you are that tweaker and you're like, hey, you know what, I really do know how to use those things. Well, if you look across the bottom, right here, uh, there's a big yellow tab. I'm going to click back and forth so you can view in on it. We have a four-band EQ, we have a full function compressor, full delay, full reverb, tape saturation, limiting, all at the bottom of the instrument. So if you are that person that does want to do that kind of thing, we haven't tied your hands. You still can do that kind of thing. Um, now I'm going to look at some of the um, efficiency of this instrument. Now, it's optimized for 64-bit. Now what does that mean? Well. The world right now is, has transitioned from an older 32-bit computer design to a 64-bit computer design, and all the software, the latest versions, are running in 64-bit. This means that the capacity of the computer to calculate is not just twice as good as 32, it's actually um, twice as good for every bit, and that's how that actually works. So when you open this instrument, you'll notice that I'm running this on a, uh, on a tower, it's working on a Mac Pro with 16 gigs of RAM, I believe, and I'm running it in Studio One. Now, that demo you just heard that I started off with, all of the sounds came from Fuse, except for the drum sounds. Those came from our other instrument called Urban XXL, which you'll see later. However, I wrote that demo 
on my 2009 laptop that you see here. And this laptop only has eight gigs of RAM. It's a simple dual core machine running 64 bit. So this gives you an idea that this is very efficient, very powerful. I can run it on a very old computer, on a newer computer. And the tests that we've been doing on the latest Mac Pro, you know, the little tiny black garbage can looking thing, we actually haven't hit a limit on it yet. We haven't been able to make that get to an end point. So it's very, very efficient. That means I can use it on my laptop for a live show. I can use it on a big tower machine within the studio or take it with you wherever you go. Now, it's a contact-based instrument, and that means that um, if you're familiar with contact, contact is the engine in which we build the sounds in. Uh, contact is a sampling workstation, and we develop sounds for it, so it comes with its own contact player. You don't need to own contact to run the instrument, but if you do already own contact, it'll load right into contact with the rest of the libraries that you're familiar with seeing. I'm just kind of scrolling at the same time trying to keep my wits about me. I'm going to show you a little bit about how, how this works. I was saying it was a dual engine synth. So on the left hand side is one synth, on the right hand side is the second synth, and in the middle is our fuse knob. I've already shown you that. Now, what I'm going to show you is the first of its kind for contact based instruments. We have developed a drop down menu where you can actually choose sounds so I can quickly choose a sound on the fly. So I'm going to put a road sound in here now, and there's the roads. Now it still has the strings with it, right? So, but I can go to this drop down menu and I can do the same kind of thing. I can click inside here and say, make that a synth. And I can blend the two together. Right? Instantaneous sounds, you know, what this allows us to do Unlike any other contact instrument where I have to go to the library, choose a sound, load it in, and then say, I want another sound, let's go back to the library, choose another sound, and load it in. In this case, all these sounds are actually preloaded in the background of Fuse. So when I want to load in a sound, it's instantaneous. So I can click through. You can't do that on any other contact instrument at all. So this is the first of its kind, and we developed that in Fuse. So again, the shows you how efficient it is for me to go through broad palettes. And you notice that I went from acoustic piano to Rhodes to strings. Now I'm into some heavy, heavy synth sounds. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to show you some of our um, unique sounds again. And I'm going to mute the side and let you just hear just this sound for a second. We call that our 808 bass sound, which you're starting to hear a whole lot. People are asking me all the time, hey, can you grab an old 808 drum? Can you tune it so we can play a bass with it? I can, but I can only do that for about an octave before it's a drum, right? So, and it's a, a synthetic drum at best. So for me to tune it across a keyboard is simply not going to work. But in Fuse, we have done that. So we have that 808 bass sound that everyone is looking for that is really popular. It's completely tuned and in key. It's percussive. I can still play it like a kick drum or I can play it like a bass sound. We have several banks of those. And then we have live bass sounds too. So I'm gonna leave this synthetic field and I'm gonna go right into, just get rid of that. I'm gonna turn off the delays. I'm hearing a whole lot of delay on there. I'm gonna get rid of the delay, get rid of the reverb. And what I'm going to quickly do is go through some of our bass sounds and go to, we have slap bass sounds, we have fretted bass sounds. Let me move down to this one and open this up. I'm going to close this one right fast. So I'm going to show you our, I'm going to show you our slap. We call this our full slap bass, which we, we sat down with a, a bass player that I work with in the studio all the time and I said, I want to come up with this great slap bass sound, efficient, but can be used in the context of a keyboard. So we sat down, figured out what kind of notes we'd want to sample, and then how we'd want him to play it. So you can see I can go. Great velocities. So I can go 808 bass sound, slap bass sound, acoustic pianos, great sounding roads, full strings, or heavy duty synths. It's an incredible workstation that really covers the palette. Now, 
it's going to be really big. It's going to ship with 25 gigs of sound. So I'm not sure how to equate that in the amount of sounds really, but I'll say patch wise, it'll have 512 patches. Um, and then it's going to have a dual engine synth and a single engine synth. So that means I'm going to have 512 dual patches, but there's going to be the same on the single end. Now some really unique functions. On a um, synth, that our first synthesizer that we brought out last year that was called Swag, we had a couple of really unique, um, say, effects modules inside the synth that allowed you to really create sounds quickly, and manipulate any sound into a morphing other sound. And we like to look at that as saying is doubling the capacity. So if I'm going to take, I'm going to quickly go up here. I'm going to go to a piano. So I'm just in that one piano sound now. And I'm going to play that piano in reverse for a second. So if I'm a sound designer or say I'm doing soundscapes, I can take any sound you hear and put it in reverse. So that was a piano in reverse, but every single sound you see can be running in verse. So let's just say I'm going to take this lead sound. Let's play up the octave here. And I can go ahead and play that forward for you. So I can make any sound just do a unique, different thing. Now, because it's a dual engine, well, I could, let's go back to that piano. I'm going to have that piano play in reverse. I'm going to add a little bit of delay to that. And on this side, I'm going to bring in a different piano, but I'm going to have that play forward. And just turn that. So now, you're hearing I have a chord. I'm getting attack and swelling. So for anyone who works on film or soundtrack material, you'll notice that you're always looking for something that can be unique, say, behind the scenes soundscape. I'm not really writing a song at this point. I'm writing a soundscape. Well, to do that, I need to be able to manipulate things in ways that, say, you wouldn't normally do. Well, that functionality we developed in, in Swag and we brought that over in Fuse. And why it's so unique on Fuse is because I can have one synth reverse and one forward, both reverse, make it on the fly. Another thing we've done is we call this our stutter effect. So I can go. I can make a sound all of a sudden stutter. Now the stuttering is based on obviously musical note value. I can make it 16th note, 32nd notes, 8th notes, quarter notes, but the engines are completely discrete. So I'm going to have one do 8th notes, and I'm going to have the other do 16th notes. So I'm going to get a kind of whirling effect between the two. Very, very simple to do. I just click on it, and away it goes, and it happens. Now, I'm going to show you one of the amazing functions, and it's the automation of Fuse. And Automating is something everyone wants to do, but if, if you don't actually understand, say, MIDI control or MIDI values in the program you're using, it can actually be difficult. For us, it's very simple. Control, click, say, learn it, grab a fader on whatever keyboard you're using, and it's done. So I can sit here and go between two sounds now. That fast. And the amazing part about the automation is that once it's saved to that patch, it doesn't matter what program I'm using, it calls up with the patch. So I'm in standalone mode. If I go open this up in Pro Tools and I open up that patch, the automation comes with it. If I open it in Logic, the automation comes with it. So you get my drift of how easy to use that is and how important it is as a player. Because I could be in the studio saying, wow, I loved what I did in the studio, the show tonight, I want to be able to do that. Not a problem. I have Fuse on my laptop, I just save the patch, I go down to my show, open the laptop, I'm playing that piano, and I can go back and forth and do the same thing. Now, here's what's also really neat. If I want to change that sound to just strings behind there, the automation's still there. Still there, because it's independent of the actual tone that I'm calling up. So, Great flexibility, easy to use, great sound quality, extremely efficient, can run on older laptops, newer machines, 
has a huge sound palette. It's coming with 25 gigs of sound. It's a huge workstation from acoustic sound to EDM, synthetic sounds. It's something you really want to have in your arsenal. It's just another great um, title that's coming out on Big Fish, and it'll be available, I believe, end of first quarter, so somewhere around April. Um, I think that should be about right. Should be shipping in April. And for those who really want to know, it, it's going to be shipping for $2.99. So if you go and you check around, you're really not going to find anything else at that price point that can do all of these things with all of these features and have all of these sounds and customize, say, customability in the way you want to work. Uh, I'm Kenny Moran, Director of Virtual Instruments for VIP Loops. Thanks for coming down to NAMM and checking us out. Thanks for uh, coming down to Big Fish. Please go to the size and check out our other titles. Uh, there's lots of great instruments that are out, acoustics, um, Urban Legacy XSL, Sound Squad, Fuse. Please go check them all out. Thanks for coming.